Yo guys, what's up? It's Jello and my chunks are glitching out. I thought I fixed that. Oh my god. Oh god. Okay, I didn't fix it apparently. I give up. Um, I'm in the void. But uh, today we are going to be building yet. Uh, oh, 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 I'm punching grass. Yeah, another starter house. And um, this is actually the second time I have recorded this because... I'm really not smart today, and I set my render settings at the wrong thing, and there was lag, and it was horrible, and it was bad. And I didn't notice, because for whatever reason, I didn't think about that, and then I noticed it, and it was, oh, it was bad. <laughs> so here we are, doing this again. Anyway, we are going to start off here. It's, uh, it's going to be a little cliffside house. It's going to be nice and, nice and cliffy. <laughs> Cliffy. Okay, so you're gonna put, you're gonna need some oak wood logs, oak wood stuff, planks, and uh, cobblestone. So you are basically, wait, no, let's go one back. You are basically going to put a log down. A one, two, three, four, five. And put another log down, and that's gonna be the start of your house. And then you're gonna raise these up four each of the logs, four, and you're gonna slap some posts on the front, and a beam right in the middle, because that's a nice look. And then you're going to put, essentially, if we're doing this the resource saving way, two rows of planks, and two on the ends are gonna be your windows, and the two on the front, or the one on the front, the two on the front, the one on the front is going to be your door. Uh, so I'm just going to fill in uh, this this area right here behind the house with oak wood. Uh, you can go in and fill it later with, uh, with wood. So, I mean, you could leave it stone or whatever, it doesn't matter. Now we are going to take some oak wood stairs and put them right like so just one normal and one upside down and then we're gonna take some glass panes and we're gonna put them in the house yeah in the house now we're gonna put them in the windows and then we're gonna come out oh I'm hitting the wrong buttons today with some cobblestone stairs Buttons, buttons work with me. Thank you. And right on the edge here, we're just gonna come out one, two, three. And that's gonna be we're gonna do a little a little porch. I guess this is, I guess it's a balcony kinda. Eh, it's either or. It works. And so we're gonna come out like this. Oh. And then we are gonna take our cobblestone slabs. And put them right like so. Just fill in the balcony with those. You could fill it in with wood if you wanted to, but yeah, cobblestone works. And then we are gonna go ahead and grab some spruce wood fence and some cobblestone walls. And we're gonna first take the spruce wood fence and put it all the way around here, just like a little a little um that thing what's the word I'm looking for a uh, fence <laughs> just like a little fence yeah there we go okay and then on the corners of your stairs going down you're gonna do spruce wood fence all the way down and on the last one you're gonna do a cobblestone slab and that's gonna be your that was really weird eh, whatever you're gonna do your cobblestone fence, and I think I said that already, I just completely lost my train of thought. But good job, Jello. Then, oh, not there. Then you're gonna come one out, and just in, oh, I can place blocks right, right in the little corners, you're gonna make kind of an L shape. And I obviously can't do it here because there's a, I guess I could do it here if I took that block out. But then you've got some little supports. And now we actually, we need a roof. <laughs> that would be a, 
that would be a useful thing. So you're gonna come back with your cobblestone stairs and some spruce wood stairs. I'm gonna make a little roof, just a just a not so much, just a little pointy roof, nothing fancy. So on the peg that you stuck out earlier, um, your fancy log peg thing, you're just gonna put your stairs, and then you're gonna repeat the upside down stair thing, the normal stair thing, and the upside down stair thing all the way across until you get to the top. Then one more upside down stair in the middle there with the right side up one. And then we're just going to fill this in real quick with uh, spruce wood stairs to finish off your roof. That should be pretty self explanatory, pretty simple. This isn't really a fancy house. I mean, I'm not really going to do any interior decorating or anything. It's just going to be, it's going to be up to everybody who wants to. Who builds the house to do what they want because um because because you can expand it however you want as long as you have mountain behind you basically that was the idea it was that you would have basically infinite house or semi infinite house depending on how much mountain you have <laughs> i guess that that seems like it just seemed practical i mean okay so you're gonna take some cobblestone slabs and place them right on the level of your stove. No, right not there. Stair. Right across like that. And now we have a roof. Yeah, one roof. Okay, so now we're going to fill in the top part here with um with oak wood because I did try it with cobblestone and it looked really bad, so we're not doing that. I'm going to take while I'm here, here we're going to take one more oak wood stair facing outward yeah and put a stair right on the door and then I'm just gonna bring these up real quick and put in some cobblestone stairs it doesn't have to be anything super fancy oh. if I could place blocks today that would be a, a major plus to this whole thing I think yeah so just gonna place them all upside down because that's the fastest way to get anywhere obviously just gonna place them all the way down the hillside like so and then oh, voila you have you have a little path going all the way down now for the inside or what little inside there's going to be we're gonna get rid of all this stuff, and we're gonna get some spruce wood and some oak wood. Now inside here, what you're gonna do is you're basically just gonna fill this in with oh, with oak wood, and I'm doing it like this because you're not gonna see it. You could put the cobblestone there if you wanted to. I'm just gonna go about yeah, see, put the cobblestone there. I'm gonna go about four blocks back. So one. Two, three, four, and we'll just fill this in, and that'll be our nice little wall. And uh, you can expand this house however much you want. You could leave it stone. You don't have to fill it all in with oak wood. You can do whatever you want. I'm just filling it in with oak wood for the sake of my sanity because it will bother me if it's not oak wood completely optional step. You know, if you don't want to fill it in with oak wood, don't fill it in with oak wood. Fill it in with dark oak wood, I don't know. It's up to you. You are the builder of the house, you do what you want. Okay, so now that we've got all this almost filled in, we are just going to take our spruce wood planks and slap them right down here. And voila! A floor. Huzzah! And then I'm just going to use full blocks. You can use slabs if you want to put like storage up there or something. But I'm going to use full blocks right at the level of the roof so that you can't see the spruce wood. And just so it looks nice. Now we're going to take crafting table, chest, furnace, throw the furnace, a couple torches, and an oak wood door. 
And now I have two furnaces. Excellent. This is what I needed. I'm going to do crafting table, chest, furnace, and torch. And another torch. Then we're going to come right here. We're going to put a door. Door. Then on the outside here, we're going to take two more torches. And a gate. A spruce wood gate to match our fence. And we're just going to put it right there. And there we go. If I can fly. There we go. And that is one nice little starter house. Nothing terribly fancy, but, you know, it's expandable. Expand it into the mountain, make it pretty, and extend it out. Do whatever you want, really. But that is, that is basically it. And we're gonna, yep, there we go. All right. Well, that is all I have time for today. Like I said, this is the second time I've recorded this video, and I really hope it were, oh, 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 we're really close right now. Oh, can we not? <laughs> that was terrifying, I'm sorry. <laughs> But that is all I have time for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you whoa, did enjoy it, please leave a like. And uh, I will catch you next time. Jello out. <laughs>